Today on Gunmark TV, we're going to look at something a bit different from Beretta. It's their 1301 competition model. It's designed for competition or practical shotgun, but it's equally good if you're a vermin controller or, or gamekeeper and wants an extended magazine and high capacity, or if you're a pigeon shooter with a lot of pigeons on your ground. It's a fantastically lightweight, 3.25 kilograms, short, compact, little semi-automatic shotgun. It uses Beretta's Blink gas operated system so it's good for light loads as, as it is for heavy loads as well as you said it, it's got the extended magazine for here which gives you nine shots plus one in the chamber which is fantastic as expected on a competition gun you have extended controls on the operation on the bolt and here on the bolt release and the, the feed into the magazine it's a fully polymer stock so it's lightweight strong it's tough and it's a very very nice ergonomic fast handling and light shotguns. When we go to take it for uh, its paces, we'll shoot some uh, pattern balls as usual and something a little bit different. Great, let's take a close look at the uh, Beretta 1301 competition uh, shotgun. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very nice trim and compact gas operated semi-automatic. It's an overall length of 42 and a half inches and it's weighing about 3.2 kilograms and that's of course unloaded. Um, you have a lovely short 24 inch barrel as you expect for good handling uh, and maneuverability on a competition gun. And that barrel is three inch chambered and steel proofed um, as expected. And you get a set of, well, you actually on this one, I got one choke, it's a full choke we had on test, uh, but it uses Beretta's Optima choke system. So any of those compatible chokes or Optima chokes or aftermarket chokes will fit this gun very nicely. As you can see, it's got the extended magazine and that's uh, nine in the magazine and one in the chamber, so that's 10 all up, which is a nice little payload in such a short, compact little um, semi-auto shotgun. And in keeping with a competition gun, which is going to have a bit of roughy tufty and um, scratches and knocks about, nice tough polymer black um, stock and a, a nice black anodized finish to the action there. So anyway, let's look at that stock first, because this is, um, this is where actually the Breta really, it looks like a quite a very simple stock, but it's a very, very nice and very comfortable to use. As you say, it's a, a black molded uh, polymer stock, uh, very lightweight, um, and it's a little bit hollow in there, but it's got a very nice sort of black crinkle tactile finish to it, which I do like. The forehand is about 13 inches long. It has a nice deep underbelly here with, again, molded in uh, checkering. And this is very, very grippy. A lot of checkering you get on moldy stocks aren't, don't actually grip very well, but this grips very well. You've got side panels and underneath there, which is very good. And at the front, you've got the gas cutouts as usual, which let the, uh, the vented gases from the operating system after firing, which is nice. Uh, on the other hand, you've got a long forehand. The actual butt is actually very, very short. It's 13.25 inches uh, length of pull, which is very short, but you can, that can be adjusted with these inserts here at the, at the back. And we put a couple in there, we've got about to 14.75 because I like a long uh, reach on mine. Although in competition, I've seen on the, if you're doing practical shotgun shooting, uh, competitors tend to like a little short stock because you can actually then maneuver it from shoulder to shoulder, up and round barricades, etc. It makes it a little bit easier. And on the, in the same vein, because you're using open sights on this, um, you've got a very low comb as well. But I think this is very, very nice. And you'll see in the test that your eye comes very, very naturally on the, the high rib, which um, this model particularly uses. Um, you do have adjustable cast if you want to. You, you can adjust here, but as it came from uh, GMK, it was absolutely perfect for me. So I wouldn't actually use that alone. I'd leave it alone. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't adjust it myself. But the option's there if you want to. Right, action-wise, um, it's typical Beretta-looking action. Very, very nice. Rounded. It's an alloy. It's... Um, one piece billet uh, machine, which is very nice, of good integrity there. Black and eyes, which is practical, which is nice. And if you want to, on top, although we didn't do it, there is provision to put um, a scope mount, so you know, red dot or whatever you like on top, because it's uh, drilled and tapped, which is very nice. In contrast to the sort of austere and black and matte finish to the rest of the, the shotgun, you've got a nice blued uh, bolt, which is quite nice, and that helps um, slick up the action quite nicely, and it also deters um, any uh, debris from the shotgun uh, cases when it actually opens, uh, sticking to it, which is very, very nice as well, which I quite like. Uh, the bolt itself has a typical rotating head with two opposing lugs, which locked, lock very, very tightly into the abutments there um, of the barrel, which is which is very good, a good, strong um, lock up there, very, very safe. And a typical single extractor, which you'll see in the test, it gripped and ejected all the cartridges we tested uh, very, very nicely. 
And one feature on these competition guns in particular, and what you need in a competition, are the extended controls. Here on the bolt handle here, you have a very, very nice, long, extended uh, bolt knob here, which is very, very easy to use on the bolt. Good grip. It's, it's, it's ribbed all the way up in a sort of triangular or cone shaped, and then hollow to reduce weight, which is, which is particularly nice. You also get an extended uh, bolt release here, and this works two ways, by pushing it forward. If you cock the action on the last, if you push forward on, on the right position, it closes the bolt. And then if you want to eject cases or cartridges from the uh, magazine, push back here, push the follow up, and it will let eject cartridges out of the magazine, which is quite handy, so you can dump them. Um, one other feature as well, if you look closely in a lot of the practical shotguns, the loading port here, or the bottom of the action, has been actually milled away, so you've got really good, easy access to actually get in there, which is very, very good. And the actual follower here is polished as well to, to again, ease the ingress of cartridges um, speedily, uh, which is good. Right, uh, then looking at the trigger, Nice smooth curved trigger, and I'll tell you what, the trigger pull on that was very, very good. That's 3.35 pounds tested on the Lyman gauge, which is almost rifle like. Uh, not that you're going to really notice it on a semi auto, but a nice little feature to have. And then again, you have uh, a typical uh, push through triangular safety, which is cross bolt, which blocks the, the trigger in use. Uh, nice and simple, and in competition or out in the field, you know, you don't get flustered about fiddling around with um, safeties too much. Okay, then finally, let's look at the barrel. If you look at the, it's it's made out of uh, Beretta's typical uh, high tensile alloy, and they're three inch chambered and steel proof for uh, high pressure rounds, typically. And obviously on this model, you've got a 24 inch short barrel, which is um, very nice and trim, and actually brings it into a very nice compact uh, size. Like we said, very very good. It uses the Optima choke, so you can fit whatever choke you want. We had a full choke on test, which is nice and tight for precise uh, competition use and actually very very good for doing a bit of um, uh, vermin control around the farm as well we found and gives that a little bit extra range but as we said you can fit any of the um, Optima uh, Beretta chokes or compatible in the field if you like. Also another feature here you can actually see is you have a high 10mm uh, rib which is very very nice and that gives a fantastic easy and very quick acquisition of the target and with the low comb your cheek, is, it really does slide right along this rib. It's very, very nice. It's well ventilated, so if a barrel heats up, it cools off very quickly. You have a silver bead halfway along the barrel and a red day glow at the end, and they line up very intuitive, and I found it no problem. And, you know, we're blasting away at clays, you'll see in a moment, uh, in a competition sort of style, uh, very, very easily as well. And, and one of those reasons also is because of Beretta, and that's one of the best bits of this system, is Beretta's blink gas operated system. And so we'll take it apart. If you'll see uh, in a moment, we'll just take the forehead off and we'll show you that the, the, the Blink system, uh, gas operated, very, very fast operating system that Beretta use. Right, there you can see with the forehead and the magazine uh, extended mag taken off with a really nice long old spring. You can see the Blink system in a little bit uh, more detail here. You say gas are vented down here into the piston, which has got a split ring system here, which makes it very efficient. And like we say, it's, it's good for light or heavy loads. This then, the piston comes out here, will hit the carrier, and then these twin spring uh, steel bars will actually come back and operate the bolt. And that's your piston moving backwards and forwards here. Barrels come out slightly. So that's basically how the system works. It's very, very, very reliable. You'll see in the test, we had no hangouts whatsoever. Some of the light loads, it just needed to shoot, shoot in a little bit, and then it was operating absolutely fine. But all the standard loads shot through absolutely perfectly. It's fantastic. And as you can see, we shot a lot of rounds, and it's it's really is, it's a little bit of grime in there, but compared to most semi-automatics, it's very, very clean. Because the Beretta 1301 competition designed for competition, I'm just going to shoot one pattern board with a typical loading, which is 28 grams of seven and a half shot. We've got it on the full choke here, uh, which is quite interesting. So let's see how it shoots. God, that's so fast on that blink. Uh, gas system is incredibly fast tonight. Let's go and have a look at the pattern board and see how it's done. Well, there you are, that's uh, the full choke at uh, 30 yards with the Beretta comp and the Winchester Pi Core. That's uh, 28 grams of 7.5. That's a really nice, dense pattern. So let's um, go and see because our competition you shoot a lot closer than 30 yards. But I just wanted to see on the boards because we test uh, a lot of these shotguns out at 30 yards. I know normally on a half choke, so that's full choke, 30 yards. 
really nice pattern. Oh, just because it's competition gun, I'm going to set up some clays just to see uh, how it operates in the competition situation. You know, nice close range, full choke, and we'll just try and shoot it as fast as we can. <laughs> Wish me luck. I mean, you can use a quad load on this, etc. I mean, I don't do practical shotgun shooting, but this is fast enough loading for me. So let's see. Safety off. That's very satisfying. And I say, totally reliable. That's a 28 gram um, load of seven and a half shot, full choke. And that's Winchester Park course and the Beretta 301 comp. I think that's proved that it is very reliable. Well, it's nice on this comp model, it's really nice. You've got extended bolt here, handle, which is very good. So in competition you can, or out in a pigeon hide, or if you're out um, ratting, so it's easy and quick to operate. And also extended release here as well. So it's very, very fast to load and very, very reliable as we've seen. And what's really nice, it's a really nice handy gun. I mean, you don't have to do competition shooting with it. You know, we're out here in the farmyard, it's great for rats, or if, you know, a pigeon comes over, or rabbits, or anything like that, really. And it's, it's a, you know, because it's a nine plus one, it's FAC rated, I, I know. It's got to be on your section one and your ticket. But a lot of keepers use this, because it's a very, very useful tool to have in the back of the Land Rover and stuff. But anyway, we're going to be out after some rats and see how it goes. Well, we've got some Ely uh, Subsonics, and these are 28 grams, uh, seven and a half uh, shot size. Just be interested to see if they actually cycle uh, subsonically in the Beretta. No, not quite enough poof. Let's we'll check that. Yeah, no, it's just there's not enough oomph or um, weight of shot in there to actually cycle the action. But that's a, you know, a valid test. We've now upped the load in the Ely Subsonics and then a 32 gram of number five shots. So let's see if they cycle. Oh, close. It was just rebounding back. Well, let's try those Ely's again. They're 32 gram of number fives and we're really close to them functioning. So this is brand new. So let's just get it. Um, may just need a little bedding in. Let's have a look. Oh, I ejected. It didn't quite work. Let's try again. No, we're just on the cusp of it working. That's a real shame, isn't it? Um, but there you go. Well, that concludes the test on the 1301 comp. I think you agree. I mean, what a fantastic, lightweight, nimble, highly agile, incredibly reliable, practical shotgun this is. Okay, the subsonics, but that's fair enough. We had a little bit of issue with that. But once it's running a bit, I think we'll actually get those working. But all the other ammunition was fantastic. Good patterns really really nice handling and reliability and that's what the Beretta is about it's a really well built just no nonsense just get the job done competition gun